relationship between calligraphy and martial arts is an old one. A large number of members of the samurai class and Zen masters of the past dedicated their entire life to the study and practice of these unique art forms. Famous samurai who were also master calligraphers include Yamaoka Teshu and Musashi Miyamoto. These warriors and Zen masters use their ki eye to brush calligraphy masterpieces. Omori Sogen, in his book Zen and the Art of Calligraphy, explains that ki eye is to be full of ki, the energy of the cosmos. And while it's always present, it can remain dormant if not cultivated. Aikido students in particular understand that cultivating ki eye is necessary to perform dynamic and practical techniques. <laughs> Contrary to what most people think, ki is not yelling. Shouting in martial arts or expressing one's dynamic energy through a sharp yell is a manifestation of ki but not ki itself. Toyota Sensei once defined ki as the harmonization of ki energy with physical action. Such harmony can be truly manifested in calligraphy. Aikido's founder, Morihei Ueshiba, was an avid calligrapher. He is quoted as saying, in Shodo, I have encountered a very wonderful thing. His Aikido calligraphy is famous worldwide. Later in his life, he brushed hundreds of calligraphies, most of them given to his students. Ueshiba Sensei, however, didn't start brushing calligraphy until well into his 70s when he began to take lessons from one of his students, Seiseki Abe Sensei. When asked during an interview with Black Bell Magazine why Ueshiba Sensei wanted to study calligraphy, Abe Sensei answered, O sensei had a tremendous amount of ki, but in his Aikido, the ki would disappear on a moment to moment basis. The ki of O sensei could not even be captured by a movie camera. It was so fast and invincible. O sensei wanted to capture his ki and wanted to learn calligraphy. He wanted to put his ki on paper. Like Ueshiba sensei, many of his students started calligraphy practice to complement their training. Koichi Tohei Sensei, Doshu Kishimaru Sensei, Kobayashi Sensei, Saotome Sensei, and my teacher Toyoda Sensei are among many of them. Because of teachers like them, calligraphy has been an essential element to the development of Aikido. Interestingly though, while Aikido seminars are very popular and widely available throughout the world, the integration of calligraphy with Aikido training, something cherished by the founder and many of his students is rarely discussed or even taught in a cohesive manner. For this reason, I get really excited anytime I get the opportunity to teach the integration of these two arts. So save the date because this summer on June 21 to the 23rd, I'll be teaching an Aikido and calligraphy seminar in Marshall, Wisconsin. This seminar is hosted by Marcel Utek from Aikido of Marshall, and I wanna thank him for inviting me over for the weekend to teach Aikido and Shodo. Aikido seminars are a lot of fun. They are an exhausting yet energizing way to spend the weekend doing nothing but training. My intent for this seminar is to have participants integrate both physically and mentally Aikido training with calligraphy principles to manifest ki our vital spiritual energy. Of course, this seminar is open to anyone, but space is limited, so if you're interested, you should register soon. All the information about schedule and registration is in the link down in the description. That's it for this one. I just wanted to let you know about this seminar coming up. I'm really excited about it. I hope to see some of you there, and I look forward to it. Kyo wa ijo desu. Mite kurete arigato gozaimasu. Thanks for watching.